Hey everyone, it's Scott here and welcome to the Gear Rules channel. Today we're checking out one of my favorite wallets that I've ever reviewed. This is the Andar Apollo wallet. Now this minimalist wallet is leather, obviously, but it has a lot of features that aren't common with leather wallets on the market today. Now Andar is a company that is based here in the United States in Chandler, Arizona. I don't believe that their products are made in the United States because looking through their website is hard to find um, that advertised. But Andar is focused on leather products and they seem to do it really well. They do wallets as well as little wraps for your headphones and even do purses and backpacks. My wife has used this backpack for over a year now and pretty much carries it with her wherever she goes and there's almost no signs of wear and tear, which really speaks to their quality. Now, if you own social media, you probably have already seen advertisements for Andar. And when they first sent me this wallet, I was a little skeptical because usually when there's a lot of advertisements, I'm a little thrown off. But honestly, really, really like this wallet. And we'll get into all of that, the overview of the features and the pros and cons of this wallet in this video. So if you guys like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more content. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram. If you've seen any of my videos, you'll know that I like to quickly go over their website, kind of show the products that they have. Andar is a very big company. They sell lots of different products. They're all kind of displayed here. Um, they sell laptop and phone cases, obviously wallets, um, that burrito core that I mentioned earlier as well as they sell bags that I showed you guys. Now their main thing is they have a ton of wallets and all their wallets come in different colorways and they're kind of coming out with new colorways over time. Obviously the uh, the Apollo is going to be their one of their more famous ones uh, but they have a bunch of different styles here. So looking at the Apollo uh, they um, like I said, you know, lots of colors options available. If you want to look at some of the features, we'll be discussing most of these features today, but if you want to kind of read through those. And another important thing is there is a 12-month warranty, which you kind of love to see uh, just in case, you know, something breaks, especially the money clip is the only thing that I could see breaking, and we'll kind of talk about that here in a little bit. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is the About Us. Um, they kind of tells their story. Uh, pretty cool. The name Andar, if you guys are familiar with Spanish, is it means to carry. So, uh, pretty neat naming convention there. And they're based out of Chandler, Arizona. So let's go ahead and start talking about the wallet and maybe what I like and don't like. Now, as we get started here, I'd like to thank Andar for sending me the Apollo wallet and the Cord Burrito. Let's cover the cord burrito real quick. It is a small piece of leather, and the leather is not as quality. It's probably leftover scraps from the manufacturing process. And all it is is a way to take your wired headphones and kind of keep them more organized. So I just wrap them around my fingers and then kind of smush it together, place it into the burrito, and button it. Now I typically have wireless headphones on me most of the time, but I do like to keep a pair of wired headphones with me just in case those die, and these keep it from becoming a tangly mess, so really like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start actually talking about the Apollo wallet. For reference, we are checking out the saddle brown colorway of the Apollo. So the wallet comes in this nice little canvas bag. Uh, about the size of the wallet and it also comes with a little thank you card showing off some of their other products which I've kind of showed you guys on the website already and on the back of the card for me it comes with a little coupon code um, just want to say that if you guys do like this wallet or do want to buy something from their website I do have the link down in the description below so I use this wallet for over a month and as we're going through this review, if you see the way the leather has weathered, um, keep that into mind that this is about a month plus of use. Now this is full grain leather and it does have an exterior card slot uh, with some branding. The Andar part will be covered if you have a card in there and their logo. And that is it for the exterior branding, which I like. 
There's a pull tab, which we'll get into a little bit later, as well as some RFID blocking material. There are two card slots on one side and another little branding opportunity here for Andar, but you won't see that if you have your ID in it. And then there is the money clip. So if I take my fingernail and I scratch this wall, you'll notice it's pretty bright. But with a little bit of you know, rubbing with my thumb or just over time, the scratches kind of go away. Now you'll see kind of a lot of scratches from my keys or maybe pocket knife. And you know it kind of gives a nice age to the wallet. You'll also see at the bend of the wallet, there's a little bit of a lighter uh, wear down on the inside and outside. But I kind of like the way this, you know, leather patinas over time. And this leather is actually really sturdy. It doesn't have that cheap feel to it. And it is full grain leather, so it is quality stuff. It's not, not going to, you know, fall apart on you or peel away. So now we're going to throw some cards and cash and kind of show you the, some of the other features. So I got about seven cards here, which I think is uh, plenty. I, I usually carry about that much. And the first thing we'll talk about is this is an RFID protectant wallet, but this card here is an RFID protectant card. So why am I using that? Um, I typically have you know, my most frequently used card on the exterior of the wallet, and I'm not 100% convinced that this little slot is actually RFID protected. Um, so I like to use that Wayfinder glitch card to further protect myself, and I'll be sure to be leaving a link for that down in the description. Next on the exterior, we have the sliding pocket, which does have that RFID material in it. And I usually put my other credit cards and other frequently used cards in this because it's super easy to just pull that tab. And the card slides out and just enough for you to grab it or enough for the tap to pay to be shown, uh, but not much more. So moving on to the inside of the wallet, uh, on one side we have the ID card holder. So this actually has a window uh, for your ID to be shown. Um, I'm not going to be showing my ID here, but I'm using that Nike card. And on the other side we have two additional slots. I usually put you know, gift cards or other credit cards uh, or insurance cards in here. And in this video I only have three cards, but honestly you could put a quite a bit more and finally we have the money clip which opens and shuts on the money and is right in the central part of the wallet okay so we fully loaded the wallet and shown you all of the features now we can kinda get into the pros and cons of the Apollo wallet by Andar and first and foremost I would want to talk about the size I said this is a minimalist wallet uh, the footprint measures 4 and 1 8 inch by 2 and 7 8 inch. So it is, you know, somewhat substantially sized uh, for quote unquote minimalist wallet. It is uh, slightly smaller than your standard, you know, dad wallet, your billfold wallet uh, with the similar number of cards in it. It is quite a bit thinner which really speaks to the overall design of the wallet. It does feel a little bit more dense and better feel in your hand than you know your standard billfold wallet. Now the other thing I really love is just the design and features of this wallet. It's pretty simple but there are some you know some neat nuances that you don't see in a leather wallet like the exterior wallet or the pull tab quick access cards. Uh, the other thing I really enjoy is the way this wallet leathers. Now if you do do scratch it with your fingernail, it does kind of have a bright scratch, but it kind of weathers into the wallet over time, giving it a nice little story behind it. And it does patina over time. You can kind of see that even after a month of use. Now the next thing is the money clip. I'm not a big money clip guy, but this money clip is awesome. It holds the money very well, and it has kind of like a a snap feature so when it's when you push it down it snaps into place very aggressively so that's kind of the pros but we, there are a couple cons that I'd like to talk about and one of the cons is actually the money clip um, the money clip occasionally gets loose so this money clip can actually slide out of the wallet and it's got like a bendy feature here but if you it, there's a screw feature so you can tighten and loosen how how aggressive the money clip is and when it's loose the arm holding your money kinda goes limp which is obviously not good it's not gonna hold your money together um, so you do have to tighten this over time 
and you don't have to take the whole you know money clip part out to tighten it I just wanted to show you guys that feature um, just kind of for for reference here you know before I could shake it no problem but here the you know it doesn't hold your cash um, so that's kind of one bone you know that I have to pick you know it gives you that optionality of how tight you want it but um, I just really like it set to one tightness and um, that's just one con I have. I didn't have to tighten it that often, but when I did, I was like, man, I, I wish I didn't have to do that. So even though the money clip had a pro and a con, I think you know the pros definitely outweigh the cons, and uh, it held my cash very well. And like I said, I'm not really a money clip kind of guy, so I like you know having the cash just right there ready to be used when necessary. Now my other complaint is the ID slot. First, it is a little bit hard to get out if you do have cash in your wallet. You kind of have to, you know, finagle it to get it working. And the other thing is the bezel is actually, you know, kind of large. I'm not showing my ID here, um, but a lot of times people are looking for the expiration date and it just crosses um, the right side of this bezel for the state that I'm in. Um, so that is kind of one annoyance. I'd have to actually pull it out if somebody was being really picky about the IDs. So my last con really isn't much of a con, but it's more of kind of a complaint. So this wallet does have RFID protectant. You can tell by this material right here. My question is, how much of it is RFID protected? Does that material wrap around to the other side and kind of cover the interior of the wallet? Um, that's a possibility. I'm really not sure about this exterior part of the wallet and if that's protected. Uh, so I'd like kind of that answer to be uh, given to us when you're purchasing the wallet. Other than that, it's great. Most leather wallets don't even have RFID protection because it's not inherent to leather. So that's really just a bone I have to pick. Overall, like I said in the beginning, this is one of my favorite wallets to do a review on. I love this wallet, and a lot of people have given me compliments on this wallet. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I hope you learned a lot. And if you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. That's all for now. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Let's take it down.